Hi, hi, hi. What's good, YouTube? You already know what it is. It's Job Playway back again with another banger. Yo, before y'all watch this video, make sure you follow me on Instagram at job.playboy. You see, I just hit a thousand. We coming up, we coming up slowly but surely. So, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, I'm going to show you how I make my thumbnails. I know I got the fire thumbnails. I know I got all the fire thumbnails, the best thumbnails in New York. So, if this video is helpful, make sure you leave a big like. And press that big red subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, 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 okay. So, as you see, I'm right here on my home screen. I'm going to show you how I make the most fires intro. I'm just going to remake a... Oh, I said intro. I'm just going to remake a thumbnail that I already did just to show you how I do it or whatever. Alright, so look. You see Photoshop right here at the bottom. Adobe Photoshop 2020. You will need Photoshop if you want to make it thumbnails like this. I already did a tutorial on the phone. You can go check that video. I'm going to put it right here at the top. You're going to see it right there at the top pop up right now. You can go check that out if you use your phone. But if you're on the laptop, keep watching. Alright, so now you're going to want to open Photoshop. Right? Okay. Photoshop is $10. It's cheap. Y'all can get it. Y'all can get it. Alright, so look. You're going to press Create New. This is what you're going to press. And then my computer move a little bit slow, so just bear with me. Alright, so it's going to say the width. You see the width, 1280 pixels. Make sure it's on pixels. The height, 720 pixels. Make sure it's on pixels. Alright, now you're going to press OK. OK, OK, OK. I got you. Alright, don't mind that thumbnail. That was a thumbnail I made earlier. Alright, so you see you're on a blank page. You are on a blank page. Now you're just going to find a photo that you want to make the thumbnail with like i said my computer be moving slow sometime so just bear with me I'm telling you this video gonna help i'm gonna look for a quick i'm gonna look for a quick um picture that i want to make the thumbnail with all right i'm picking out an image to use right i'm just gonna remake a thumbnail like i said over drag it on there hold on did it drag nope it didn't my fault oh yes it did yes it did okay now y'all see me i know i'm cute y'all gotta say it's all right Okay, make sure it fits the screen full way. I know. I make this face every thumbnail. It's alright. <sighs> alright, now you're going to press Enter L. Okay, now you're going to go over here. Look at my mouse. Go over here. You're going to see three dots because most likely you don't have the quick selection tool up here. So you're going to see the three dots. My three dots is not there right now, but you will see it on your Photoshop. Click the Double click it with two fingers. Well, not double click it. Just click two fingers on the right side of your thing. And it's going to say quick selection tool. Right? Click on your quick selection tool. Hold on. I'm going to put it on 10 for y'all. All right. You got to adjust the size up here. You see where I picked the size? It's going to say size. You see mine's is a 4. So I'm going to put it on Put it on 10. Put it on 10 for y'all. All right. All right. I don't think it wants to go on 10. But uh, all right. I guess I'm going to leave it on 11. All right, now, as you see me, I'm perfect in the picture. So, you're just going to crop everything that you want to be in the picture. So, look, you see my mouse right here. You're going to press down, and you're going to just move it around to where you want to think. It's going to do it for you. You just have to move it to the spot that you want to do it to. Right? You see what I'm, you see what I'm talking about, right? All right. You're just going to do it to the spot that you want to do it to. All right? Photoshop is litty. Photoshop is litty. Tell you, everybody watch this video. Okay. It's alright, it's alright. I'm gonna fix those. I'm gonna show you how to fix those if it don't think. Okay. Okay. Alright. Now, you see how this right here is not on where I want it to be? Hold on. You see how this right here is not where I want it to be and also we're at um, this right here where my finger is in between my finger how is not where I want it to be so now you're gonna go to the minus you're gonna click on the minus and you're just gonna push it in see I just push it in quick and you're just gonna drive it down this side just like this just drive it straight down this side I hope I'm being like as explained full I don't know if that's a word but I hope I'm being as helpful as possible right now alright you see how everything is looking alright Okay, hold up. I just want to fix this real quick. Alright, so after you finish cropping everything, right? You see everything is cropped how I want it. Now, you're going to click, take two fingers and click the right side of your thing. If you have a MacBook, it should be the two fingers. Take two fingers and click the right side of your thing. Okay, click the right side of your um pad. And it's going to say 
select inverse all right you see how I went all the way on the outside of every like the whole picture now I'm gonna do the same exact thing again two fingers select inverse now you see how it's back to where I want it you're gonna go to the top of your screen up here click select go to modify smooth make sure it's on 10 make sure it's on 10 pixels press ok now press command J press you don't have to press them at the same time press command then press J so command J my fault my fault yeah command J now look you see right here on the side right here on the side look at my mouse it's a big it's the layer now look if I was to hide this you see it's just me right it's just me right all right now this is where all right so now I'm gonna worry about the background back here then I'm gonna show you how I make my thumbnails I'm worried about the background now right all right so now I'm gonna grab this image right here I have this um you could go on Google and search up sunburst black and white sunburst I'm gonna leave the links for everything down in the description below cuz I just made this video because I'm tired of everybody hitting me up asking me how to make a thumbnail so I got y'all right now all right so I'm gonna drag this on here you see I dragged it now it's look you see how it's in front of me it's alright just gonna put it under look at the layers put it under the first layer and now I'm behind it I mean now I'm in front of it right so now you see the opacity right here put the opacity low uh yep that is great 15 is great okay 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 right now press enter and press L alright now after that you are going what do we want to work on alright so now you're gonna press on your your layer click the layer with two fingers click the layer of you with two fingers not your not the full picture not this the layer one with your two fingers on the side and it's gonna say blend in options right okay now you're gonna check off stroke you see how the stroke went around me right hold on let me just fix this up real quick cuz I don't want that whole thing to be cropped in so I'm just gonna pick this up real quick okay hold on wait I don't like it alrighty then okay 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 my fault yeah I'm just gonna lift that up real quick cuz I don't like how I was looking okay now enter L now I'm gonna go back click this with two fingers to go back to blend in options right okay so after that you're gonna click on, check off stroke and then gonna click on stroke um put you put your sides up and down you see the sides you can put the sides up and down I'm gonna leave it on about five we're gonna leave it on five make sure it's on outside because look when you put it on inside it's gonna flip in and when you put it on center is just I don't know what center is but yeah just make sure you leave it on outside alright now after that you're gonna check off outer glow check off outer glow right and then you see the color of the outer glow after you click check off outer glow click on outer glow check off check off outer glow and then you're going to pick your color all right, for this thumbnail, I'm gonna do pink. This pink right here, that's great. All right, now I'm just gonna raise the size up. Oh no, not that much. All right, now you see how I'm glowing. 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 All right. Now look at me. I look perfect, right? All right. Now, as you see. Like I said, I'm making the same thumbnail over. I'm just trying to show y'all. All right, so now I'm gonna go to um, I'm gonna go to the messages. Like, let's just put the messages right here. The messages that I had with this person. Okay, so now, are right, you see me looking? I'm looking. I'm looking. Give me a second. Give me a second. All right, it's in the previous thirty days. All right, um, the messages should pop up anytime. Come on, come on, anytime. And if they hit we hit right back. Alright, forget it. We're just gonna use this. Now, you see this, right? This is from one of my videos. Y'all could go watch that video. Alright, now look, you use this to curve. You use this right here on the outside. Make sure it's on the outside, it's gonna curve. Alright, right? 
So now I'm going to move this over. I'm going to move this over, zoom out, right? All right, so now after I put that there, hold on, I want to put it. I want to, um, I want to, um, yeah, move it over a little bit. That's crazy. I'm dead. I'm making the thumbnail that I did the prank on her with. All right, so, um, yeah, see how it's thing. I'm going to blur it. Actually, no, I'm not going to blur it. Y'all can see it. Y'all already saw it. I don't really don't care. All right, so now, blend in options. Click on it with the two fingers. Put on blend in options. And when you check off stroke, it's going to automatically go from the last one that you did. And when you check off this, it's going to automatically go because of the last thing that you did. So it's automatically saved, if you get what I'm saying. Right? You get what I'm saying? I know y'all get what I'm saying. Y'all not stupid. Y'all Playboy Squad, so, so y'all smart. All right, so now, you see how everything is there, right? Press enter, L. Now look, uh, y'all see the thumbnail, y'all see the thumbnail, y'all see how I look, y'all see how I look, right? So now, I'm going to get the background, this is the, one of the last steps, I'm telling you, I make my thumbnails quick, y'all got y'all, got y'all, y'all see how I pop out? Like if you scrolling down right now on Instagram, I'm just on Instagram, on YouTube, this thumbnail pops out to you because of the color and the glow, I got y'all, I'm going to hook y'all up. Alright, now look, you see I use these hearts. I use these hearts, right? All right, so we're gonna do the same exact thing. Um, the quick selection tool with this. So we're gonna quick selection tool it. Make sure it's on plus. All right, put the thing, stuff like that. All right, so after that, you're gonna put the things. Click each one. It's gonna do the heart by itself. All right, blah blah blase 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 blase. Okay. After that, you're gonna click the click select. You're gonna press inverse again. Select inverse. Okay. Now, after you press select inverse, you're gonna do the same exact thing. Press select inverse one more time. Now you're gonna press select, and then modify again, and then click smooth. Make sure it's smooth. Make sure it's on 10. Press Command J after that. Command J. Now, you see, I can hide this. When I hide this, it goes behind it. Well, when I hide this, it goes. It goes away. You see? I click it and I hide it. I click it and I hide it. All right, so I'm going to hide it and I'm just going to move this down so it could go behind everything. I'm going to move this down so it could go behind everything. Right? Okay, okay, okay. All righty then. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong thing. Not supposed to grab that. All right, it know it know what it was doing. All right, now I'm just gonna stretch this out so it could go behind or whatever. Put it how I want it. You see how I put it? You see how I put it? All right, now I'm gonna just duplicate this. I'm gonna copy so I could put it twice, and I'm gonna put paste. Okay, so now with this layer, I'm gonna push this all the way in front of everything. I want this on top of everything. All right, so after that, you see all the hearts that's there. Look at that. Look at that. T Yo, tell them that Job Playboy helped you. Tell them that Job Playboy helped you. Press Enter, then press L. Now, you see, I'm almost done. All I need, all I need is the text. All I need is the text. And then I'm going to need the the um, camera icon that I use. All right, so after that, you're going to press... um. So the name of this video was Lyric Prank on Crush. So I'm gonna type in on. Actually, no, I don't want to use that font. So I'm gonna change my font to another danger. Hold on, another danger. Wait, why is not let me change my font? All right, another danger. And I'm gonna put the color on pink. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Alright, I'm going to put the color on pink. Alright, now look. On crush. You see that, right? I know y'all see it. I know y'all see it. Alright, now I'm just going to stretch this out and I'm going to tilt it a little bit. And I'm just going to put the glow on. Alright, you see I tilted it a little bit. Now, I'm going to click over here. Over here, go back over here to the layers. Click this with two fingers. Blending options. Check off stroke. So it could pop out. Then check off the outer glow. Now you see the words pop out a lot as you on it. 
right now this is the last 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 this is the last thing you have to do now this is what I want to do um the um camera icon that I use you could go on Google and search up camera recording PNG or transparent camera recording transparent and it's going to show you all right this is the last part now you see my camera icon is right here look look at this look at this look at that that's the end look at that look at that thumbnail please tell me that's not fire please tell me if you see that thumbnail you are not clicking on that you see how it pops out it pops out that's how you make a thumbnail like job playboy all right YouTube if you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment subscribe turn on post notifications so you can get notified every time I post a banger and without further ado I love y'all we out